Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are here today with another grand transit of Saturn in the nakshatra of Purva Bhadrapada from 6th of April 2024 to 20th of January 2026. Very, very, very long transit, almost for two years. But remember, Saturn will be retrograde this year and next year. And as you can see these crucial dates, so finally Saturn will enter Uttara Bhadrapada which is the next nakshatra on 20th January 2026 and then onwards it will not enter Purva Bhadrapada again but in between there are a lot of transits which will happen in these nakshatras as you can see including Shatabhisha nakshatra also all right so uh, this video is for every ascendant and uh, if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a personalized consultation from me please go to my website down in the description section www.exoticastrology.in God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him so now let's start <coughs> so let's go to Aries what's going on with Aries for you Saturn lords the 10th house which is the house of career name fame power position authority and also he is your 11th Lord he is the most 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 important planet for you Aries not just because he lords the most powerful houses but also because your Lagna Lord Mars gets exalted in the sign that is ruled by Saturn which is Capricorn which is your 10th house so therefore for you this transit is a very 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 important transit and as you know Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra starts from um, Aquarius and goes to Pisces so for you this transit will be starting in your 11th house and then it will go to your 12th house okay so therefore you will have a mixed impact depending on your ascendant, depending on your Mahadasha and Antar Dasha. All right. So do not forget to check your Dashas. Now, what is the 10th Lord and the 11th Lord doing? So the 10th Lord, 11th Lord shows a strengthening of your professional sta uh, status through discipline, through hard work and also through contacts. Okay and uh, because he is Saturn so there has to be hard work and there is no other uh, shortcut for it and then the 11th house also shows uh, social aspirations and community involvement uh, but remember it's Saturn so they will be tested so for example if you uh, go to your office and you say uh, or if you go to your um, community within your locality and you get a position and then you could anticipate that there could be some issues which you could face which means you will be tested okay so for you it's very important that you uh, make sure that you do not um, over promise and under deliver okay so better to under promise and over deliver always <coughs> now you could have lot of uh, potential financial gains uh, through long-term investments and group associations now uh, this is like you know you could have uh, income from the stock market or uh, through your business also why business because the 12th house is linked here and the 12th house uh, is the house of expenditure but when linked with the 10th and the 11th it is the house of business expenses which means uh, you are spending some money and uh, investing something uh, for long-term gains okay so for example you want to open a youtube channel so you are buying a laptop uh, which i am sure you already have uh, but you are buying a good microphone like i am recording now currently with the blue yeti microphone and you have a nice webcam and uh, that's how you are gaining money so the 12th house is associated so there has to be some expenditure so for, so for you now uh, it's very important that uh, if you are planning to go to the next level then you need to do some expenditure okay so go, go and get some online course or uh, get a mentorship from somebody or yeah get a license get a certification okay so spend some money and there will be a lot of gains and uh, because the 11th house is the house of friendships but now the 12th house is also associated so 
Uh, this is a time when you should reassess your friendships and your network circles. And uh, because of the 12th house, you may sometimes feel that uh, they are not uh, there with you when you need them. You know, they are, they are like, uh, they are not all weather friends. Okay. So for you, uh, it's very important that you uh, now learn to focus on your genuine friends and not just on any random people in social media. So uh, the rest of the period, you should focus on increasing your solitude. Also do introspection um, and you should prepare for a new cycle of growth because uh, whenever the 11th and the 12th are associated, you know what, what is the next house, right? The next house is the first house. Okay, so uh, Saturn will uh, again transit to your first house after some years. So therefore, uh, it's crucial that you uh, learn to introspect and see deep within. Okay, so uh, to summarize, uh, great for your professional status, name, fame, power position. Uh, you might need to do some expenditure and uh, gain more money after that. Uh, focus on your network circles, uh, promise less and deliver more and also try to find yourself, do more introspection and you will have very good growth. Okay. Thank you so much, Aries. Wish you all the best. All right. Now we go to Taurus. Taurus Ascendance. Mm -hmm. You win again. Oh my God. You are the one who won in the jupiter transit in the rahu ketu eclipse uh, i mean the solar eclipse and this is again another transit where you win because for you saturn is a very 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 important planet uh, he is the lord of your ninth house and your tenth house but now in transit he will be in your tenth and the eleventh houses okay so this these two houses are the 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 most powerful of all the uh, houses that are present in the chart so essentially uh, your ninth lord and tenth lord is transiting in your tenth and eleventh which means uh, if the ninth and the tenth are associated then it is like uh, dharma karma dipati yoga which uh, is a yoga where you stay true to yourself and to society and you do your best okay uh, you don't you don't pretend to do things which you don't like so therefore as you know the ninth house is the house of uh, guru counselors uh, philosophy there is higher learning and 10th house is you know name fame power position authority so therefore uh, you can have career advancement uh, through persistence uh, but because this is saturn so there will be hurdles okay so it could happen that you are a taurus ascendant and you have your own business which you just started and it could happen that uh, now you are facing a lot of difficulties and it could happen that uh, initially you could continue to face difficulties but because the 11th house is associated you will have massive success okay so uh, taurus as i said 2024 is your year you win again okay congratulations there could be success grand success indeed uh, but through initial hurdles okay never mind and then uh, for you it's very important that uh, you pay heed to your ethical and moral principles okay not just yours but the ones which are mentioned in the vedic scriptures or any other scripture primarily um, which which inspires you so for example uh, if you earn to earn if you want to earn money that's great nothing wrong but do not do it through immoral practices because uh, now it's saturn and you will pay the price okay as the ninth lord very 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 crucial very 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 critical indeed then uh, because your 10th lord will transit the 11th so there could be expansion in professional networks with opportunities for uh, getting into a new leadership position and uh, now it is very important for you to ask for help whenever it's required okay so therefore if you have contacts like you know your old school friends or your old teachers <coughs> or uh, anybody during your bachelor's or master's or phd then it's the best time for you to reach out to them okay uh, reach out to influencers in social media to market your product because now the 11th house which is the house of network circles will actually help you okay so therefore 
uh, this is a great time for you to get things done easily okay now when i say easily i don't mean without any work but uh, relatively much more easily okay so use this time and <coughs> do hard work and also because uh, the tenth lord is transiting eleven, so there could be great recognition uh, because the second house from the tenth is the eleventh, and the second house shows gains. So the eleventh house is the house of ultimate gains. Okay, so there could be gains after hard work and discipline. Of course, do not forget discipline. And along with this, the ninth lord is also transiting the eleventh. So this is a classic situation where. Uh, you could come into touch with uh, reality of your own personal beings and uh, your own personal beliefs okay and you would try your best to align them with your career goals which means for example if you are working in a job which you don't like then you may feel oh uh, this is something which i should now leave and start my own business okay so therefore uh, this is a great time for reflection into your personal belief uh, systems and in summary align them with your career goals and also be ethical be moral be spiritual uh, be compassionate and also uh, contact your network circles expand uh, contact government agencies because the 10th house 11th house they are the agencies of the government and get grand career success through perseverance okay all the best taurus you win this time again also good luck all right so now we go to gemini what's going on gemini so for you gemini this transit is happening in your ninth and tenth houses okay so saturn lords your eighth house which is the house of transformation uh, joint assets joint resources you know it's the house of inheritance it is the house of your in-laws it's the house of uh, gains from the stock market crypto or real estate anything that you don't do but you get okay that's the eighth house <laughs> then uh, saturn also lords your ninth house which is the house of your belief systems your long distance travel your uh, education knowledge your wisdom basically okay ninth house is the house of your uh, your gurus and your guides and counselors and god himself so your eighth lord and ninth lord is transiting in the ninth initially and, and then in the tenth so there could be interesting impacts for you now the eighth house is the house of research and when combined with the ninth house it is definitely the house of research okay there is no i mean there is no doubt but because the tenth house is also associated so therefore uh, later on you will realize as this transit moves on into pisces you will realize that now you are able to come out of the research which means you are able to develop uh, valuable insights from your research and um, because the eighth and the ninth are associated so there could be growth through exploration of new beliefs or educational pursuits okay so for example uh, you may be interested in uh, studying something which is radically different and uh, that could actually help you to become a better person or learn something new so eighth house will generally show things which you are initially not interested in but later on like you are very much interested okay so uh, gemini ask yourself is there uh, anything which uh, you have inside uh, but you are not learning it because of some 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 vague reason okay so if there is something like that then please go and learn that okay now because the ninth and the tenth are also associated so there could be career opportunities which can come from long distance connections like you know maybe uh, you can apply to a job uh, uh, to a startup which has been opened by you know some school friend or friend from your bachelor's you know so some old context could resurface ninth house is also the house of luck so uh, you may get very lucky okay and also uh, you could travel to a different foreign land to a distant land uh, for uh, doing a getting a new uh, for starting your new job so there could be a good on-site opportunity which could come in now along with that uh, because the eighth house is associated so there could be some challenges in higher education okay 
now it does not mean that you will uh, fail in your exams if you go for masters or phd or bachelor's it doesn't mean that it means that you have to put more efforts than what you initially expected okay so uh, and also there could be some tasks with uh, getting adjusted to foreign cultures okay so uh, do your best and leave the rest to god and because uh, the ninth house and the tenth house are associated uh, so there will be a need for not just intellectual growth or uh, financial growth there will also be a need for uh, a structured approach using some spiritual practices you know and you have to also grow as a person philosophically so for you the challenge is to grow physically financially emotionally intellectually uh, spiritually and uh, overall okay so you should seek for all round development and most importantly because the eighth and the ninth are associated so there are two things which are associated together one is there could be transformation through travel uh, and there could also be transformation through research okay or one of them but uh, either ways uh, you will be transformed okay so gemini for you uh, to summarize uh, there could be you know new belief systems um, there could be new knowledge coming in new education coming in long distance career opportunities uh, struggle with higher education and foreign lands and overall development uh, is mandatory okay so wish you all the best have good travel and learning and research okay take care gemini all right so now we go to cancer for cancer what's going on saturn lords your seventh house he's a very 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 important planet seventh house shows your contracts your marriage your wedding your partnerships your business partners anybody other than you in this world so for you apart from you the seven billion people are uh, basically the seventh house okay any any other human being is your seventh house even animals birds everybody other than you and you also lords the eighth house now eighth house shows deep changes transformation and uh, assets which either you give to others or you get from others okay and the transit houses are eighth house and the ninth house okay so for example uh, the ninth house as you know is the house of enlightenment okay and eighth house is the house of tapasya it's the house of austerity research uh, and um, diving deep into the unknown okay so there could be uh, deepening of intimate relationships because the seventh lord will transit the eighth and uh, there could be understanding of joint finances with your spouse so for example uh, you might be having a job and your spouse might be having a job and then now you are trying to sit and calculate what's your total income how much money you are spending how much money will you invest into the stock market or to real estate or to crypto and uh, there is more depth and understanding of your relationships okay not only financially but spiritually mentally physically and emotionally intellectually also so uh, but as you know the eighth house is the house of challenges so there could be uh, possible changes which could require you uh, a lot of patience and humility and there could be some restructuring which is required okay so for cancer ascendants uh, especially if you are already in a partnership with somebody uh, then you need to know that you might have to uh, recalibrate your expectations with your partnership okay with your partners not just uh, your husband or wife but with your business partners also it could be okay so uh, be honest ask yourself if there is some restructuring of expectations which is required okay is it, has it become very difficult for you to manage your expectations or does your spouse always complain that you are not behaving the way you they expected you to or you promised to behave so uh, be a bit patient be humble and try to restructure if required okay and as i already said there could be transformation through inheritance you know uh, so for example you might get some inheritance um, or there could be uh, purchase of lottery and you might win uh, or 
other shared resources okay with your in-laws uh, so these are the good things about the eighth house but always understand eighth house is a dustana house so there could be some ups and downs okay so for you uh, it is very 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 important to be clear of the facts and expectations okay so if you are entering into a contract or marriage or any other kind of partnership it's very 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 important that you clear your expectations and don't leave anybody uh, uh, hanging out of the blue okay so for you uh, try your best if required have a contract and uh, do things a bit formally okay because ninth house also shows legalities you know there could be some issues with the contracts and legalities <laughs> So think 10 times before signing a contract and if required sign the contract okay and if you feel that there should be some official agreement then go through it and at the end the 8th and the ninth, they are the most beautiful houses for spiritual progress the 8th house shows your weaknesses okay uh, it shows your uh, dark side and the ninth house shows enlightenment so therefore uh, for you it's essential that you uh, try to see what is stopping you from growing uh, spiritually okay so try to confront your personal shadows uh, try to confront your weaknesses and do spiritual practices and elevate yourself and learn and grow philosophically take travel do research okay so essentially for you cancer um, deepen your intimate relationships with people uh, take care of merged assets and uh, experience transformation through spiritual growth and learn uh, learn more travel more and become a better person all right all the best cancer all right leo that's a beautiful photo right there isn't it leo the sun is there the lion is there and the planet saturn is there what else is required it's a bright it's a bright 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 morning for you leo but interestingly <laughs> your transit is happening in the eighth house and the seventh house of course which uh, i mean the eighth house is the house of darkness okay <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless uh, saturn lords your uh, sixth house then uh, with, what is the sixth house is the house of uh, health uh, it's the house of discipline it's the house of uh, yoga gym and any kind of services that you render okay so that is why i have chosen this photo because uh, this shows you might need to do some workout in the morning okay when the sun is rising in the sky and also uh, saturn lords your seventh house saturn is a very contradictory planet for you leo because uh, saturn lords the house of being single and also being committed okay it's it's a bizarre lordship for you but nonetheless that's how parashar muni has a sign okay so now for you uh, this transit is happening in your seventh house and also in your eighth house okay <coughs> so for you there could be some serious commitments that could be required seventh lord transiting the eighth and there could be a strong need for highlighting uh, business relationships and commitments okay so maybe now is a good time to enter into a partnership uh, depending on your mahadasha and antardasha of course and uh, when i say uh, business relationship it could also mean marriage okay or it could mean uh, some collaborations where you are not totally linked uh, but you are just uh, uh, trying to do things together and see if it works out in the long run okay and there could be challenges in these partnerships which may require necessary growth or restructuring this is also true for cancer ascendance okay so for example uh, there could be things where uh, you already have a contract and now you re you need to renegotiate the contract to see if things will work out in your favor or not okay and if you feel that uh, you will not be able to uh, maintain your commitments then be honest be outwardly true to yourself and to the other person and the other party also okay don't, don't uh, try to be duplicitous or don't uh, beat around the bush otherwise um, it, it will be uh, it will be problematic for you in the long run okay 
<clears throat> so also there could be focus on shared resources and financial planning with partners also like for cancer ascendant so if you are married then it's the best time for you and your spouse to see what's your total income what's your net worth how many assets and liabilities do you have uh, also because the sixth house is involved so there could be a necessity of discipline in financial matters okay so you really need to be careful in the money that you are spending and you have to be very watchful of uh, your unnecessary expenditure in the name of needs okay so try to differentiate between your needs and your wants you know try to open some um, try to create a system where you can uh, invest some money regularly with discipline okay so for you sip uh, is a very 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 uh, good way to invest your money okay because the sixth house shows things which you do regularly with discipline and of course the sixth law transiting eighth not the best period for uh, personal relationships so there could be some emotional ups and downs which you or your spouse might face okay uh, but remember this is coming from the eighth house which is the house of deep insecurity and you know childhood trauma so if your spouse is behaving in a particular way then please uh, understand that they might have faced some traumas and because of which you know they have some unhealed wounds you know so try to talk it out and not just discard them that's very 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 important and also eighth house is uh, the seventh house as you know is the house of balance so sixth lord transiting the seventh uh, you might need some balance you know so you might get into extremes you know like you may not eat for two days and suddenly eat a lot so try to balance as krishna says in the gita na, yukta hara viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmasu okay so being disciplined is very important okay so leo uh, make serious commitments in business and in personal relationships uh, renegotiate them if required be outwardly honest check your expenses and your um, losses plan with your partners start an sip uh, have uh, serious conversations about uh, emotional traumas and uh, childhood uh, bad experiences and also have a balanced health and diet routine okay all the best to leo's so now virgo it's a beautiful image there you see a lady is reading something and there's somebody else also in the photo it seems <laughs> and the planet saturn of course so for virgo saturn is a very 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 crucial planet because uh, he is the lord of your fifth house which is the most important house in the uh, zodiac belt because uh, the fifth house shows your creativity it shows your vision your ambition your life purpose you know ambition not in terms of external achievements but in terms of the desire you know, in regards to what you want to do in life and uh, it's also the house of children okay so also he's your sixth lord which is you know your daily work and then uh, health of course nonetheless and discipline so he's transiting in your sixth house and in your seventh house okay so for you the golden mantra for these two years is hard work there is no there is no and there will be no and there can be no shortcut to success okay so <clears throat> you have to work hard in your daily routines uh, and you have to understand the power of compounding okay so for example uh, you may go to the gym once and you may feel ah this is a waste of time you know then there's nothing that i am gaining uh, but if you calculate you know like weekly you measure your weight or your you know bmi or whatever however you calculate your um, improvement in health you may not see any difference every day but if you calculate over a week or maybe 15 days to uh, a month you will see gradual differences okay so harness the power of compounding uh, you have to understand that uh, transformation in life will only come when you transform your daily habits okay so if you can't do anything daily every day with efforts you will not be successful <coughs> And this disciplined approach has to be main maintained not just for work or health for overall. Okay, so all the four pillars should be balanced. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. So Dharma is your 
purpose and your vision then artha is your wealth and career profession name fame then kama is your family life your enjoyment your relaxation your happiness and moksha is your um, is like you know your sleep and your um spiritual life you know like let trying to let go of things trying to depend on god okay so all the uh, four pillars have to be balanced and <clears throat> because the fifth lord will transit the sixth so your relationships with your children or your uh, spouse or your love life uh, could require more responsibility okay so uh fifth lord transiting seventh and the sixth uh, it's very uh, it's very bizarre because one house shows maintaining relationships the other sh uh, other shows breaking relationships okay so it could happen that your relationship with your spouse or your children could go for a toss which means sometimes it could be good sometimes it could be bad okay <clears throat> and also like for cancer and leo even for you uh, the partnerships that you have already will uh, require a restructuring okay so there could be some renegotiation of contracts which are required and <clears throat> uh, be careful before you enter into a new partnership okay because you will be answerable uh, later on and be careful before you take any loan or any con before you sign any contract okay with the government especially uh and on the brighter side it's a great time for you to uh, bring your creative projects uh, with hard work into fructification which means if you have a hobby uh, you could try your best to convert it into a business you know so turning you could try to turn a part of your passion into your profession okay you don't have to but if you have a skill and you can provide services to others then what's wrong in it okay so essentially for virgo to summarize you have to work hard and uh, you have to understand that transformation will only come if you work hard on a daily basis and four pillars of your life have to be balanced uh, and also your relationships may require some more efforts especially with your children or with your love life and also there could be some restructuring that is required and try to convert your passion into profession if you think it's appropriate okay all the best virgo so now we go to libra lagna so what is going on libra lagna saturn is very 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 important for you because he's your yoga karaka okay now who, what is a yoga karaka yoga karaka is a lord of a kendra and a trikon so he is your uh, fourth lord and he is also your fifth lord fourth lord fourth house is a kendra and fifth house is a trikona so as the fourth lord he rules your home family your land property real estate he also rules your education why because uh, here he is also lording your fifth house which is the house of creativity romance and also wisdom okay so essentially libra lagna saturn is the in charge of your mindset okay in short so now this planet which shows your mindset is transiting your fifth house and your sixth house very 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 important because the fifth house is a trine and the sixth house is a dustana house okay so now what could uh, what kind of an impact could this have on your life uh, for you uh, you may experience that you are doing something creative or you are doing something like a side hustle or side work <clears throat> but now you may be uh, th you may decide that no i just w don't want to do it uh, as a side hustle i want to do it very seriously okay so uh, if you are doing something on the side so for example if you have a job but you are also maintaining your social media you have a youtube channel or uh, you know you write books or you do something creative like you know singing dancing you you may want to like do it full time now okay or at least focus more and you might focus on creative self expression <clears throat> and uh, just like for virgo uh, it could also happen that uh, your romantic relationships and uh, your relationship with your children uh, you might uh, need to handle these relationships with a bit more maturity okay now what is maturity maturity means 
being true to yourself uh, being honest about your own situation and also trying your best to help the other person okay and uh, for you because the fifth house is the house of good health and sixth house is the house of disease and discipline so now it is very 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 crucial that you uh, develop habits which will give you discipline okay to lead a healthy life and uh, this can only be achieved through uh, your daily routine okay so just like for virgo for you also you have to understand that to to get transformation in your life you must change your daily habits okay so measure your daily habits what are you eating how many times in a day are you eating how many calories are you eating how much are you exercising how much are you sleeping what time are you getting up what time are you sleeping okay so try to get an app where you can note all this you know so try to uh, try to check your progress every week okay every weekend you should check what's your progress okay and then uh, there could be potential challenges in having work-life balance now there could be three issues which you face one is your creativity one is your work and the other one is balance okay so you need to allot proper resources to your creative work and to your job okay now if your passion is your full-time profession then that's great nothing wrong about it but in case you are trying to do two things together then you have to make sure that you structure things properly like you know eight hours a day you are working and one hour you are working on your side hustle or your business or your creativity okay so uh, don't just uh, leave things to thin air okay when where they manifest automatically or they don't so take care of yourself take care take responsibility for yourself okay <clears throat> and also for you since the fourth lord is involved it is very 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 important that you uh, harness opportunities uh, for your self growth uh, through personal hobbies and interests okay so maybe you could also learn some new hobby learn some new skill okay so overall for libra uh, it's a good time to express yourself creatively uh, find work life balance give more time to your spouse and your children have a good discipline uh, search for some mentors uh, try to uh, try to check try to monitor your daily habits okay and uh, learn new things learn new hobbies okay wish you all the best libra so now for you scorpio what's going on saturn is a very very interesting planet for you why because he lords your third house which is the house of uh, communication and siblings and hard work and courage uh, and short distance travel which shows instability in one sense but he also lords your fourth house which is the house of your home your emotional security and your stability your homeland okay so uh, for you saturn is uh, quite a bizarre planet which rules your stability and instability simultaneously okay but now we need to check where is he transiting so he's transiting in your fourth house and in your fifth house okay <clears throat> so for you saturn may be uh, giving emphasis on uh, solidifying your family bonds your existing family relationships especially with the mother and securing the home environment okay because the fourth house is the house of your home it's the house of literally your house okay it's not just like not only your home but also the house the real estate the land and the building okay and also the environment and also fifth house's children as you know right and there could be potential gains through real estate or land property matters uh, and also it could happen that you might sign up for some property why do i say sign up because the third house is associated okay the third house is to some extent also the house of disputes because third house is you know <clears throat> any documents okay so if you are about to go and buy some property then my congratulations to you in advance but make sure you read the documents properly and you 
understand it end to end so take help of a lawyer or a good real estate agent and uh, read the documentation properly okay and also for you uh, the third house and the fifth house are associated okay so uh, the third house and the twelfth house uh, are somehow the subconscious mind okay so <clears throat> for you uh, it could be a time for introspection and uh, also a time to build emotional re resilience okay because the fourth house is involved so for example ask yourself do you have a lot of mental ups and downs because you know scorpio ascendants uh, naturally you might uh, be feeling that your mind makes you go crazy sometimes do you get too attached or uh, do you get too happy or do you get too miserable sometimes okay so uh, everything is do, does everything appear to be exaggerated for you okay so if that is the case then you need to develop emotional resilience very 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 important for you so try to do spiritual practices mantras meditation and improve yourself and also uh, there could be creative endeavors which might face some tests okay but they could lead to significant growth because uh, the third house actually tests you so now when the third and the fifth are linked uh, <clears throat> it's like a situation where you your uh, your time management is tested so uh, are you able to manage your time properly are you able to give proper time to your you know hobbies your interests and also to your job okay so whenever these two houses are combined it's the best time to learn something new and um, improve your hobbies your skill sets okay third house also shows your interview preparation communication skills you know and fourth and fifth are houses of knowledge and learning so uh, try to improve your communication try, try to learn how to speak uh, better uh, so get some online courses or see some videos in youtube you know read more books about communication very 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 important and also because the fourth house is associated so communication uh, within close personal relationships uh, is also the key to overcoming challenges okay so uh, try your best do your best leave the rest to god so in summary or uh, try to solidify your inner connections you know your family relationships uh, try to check your land uh, property real estate documents introspect build emotional resilience and try to balance your hobbies and your uh, profession and also improve your communication okay all the best to scorpios so now sagittarius what's going on sagittarius for you saturn is the lord of your second house and your third house very 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 important planet because uh, the second house is the lord of is the house of your wealth your net worth basically okay second house shows your values your value systems you know what do you think is good what do you think is bad what is moral what is immoral <coughs> what is appropriate appropriate what is not appropriate and the third house is the house of communication short distance travel and your ideas okay so now this transit is in your third house and in your fourth house so for example uh, what kind of an impact could this have the third house as you know as i said is communication travel and the fourth house is the house of stability and uh, solidification okay like fourth house is the home so what is home it's like a solid security okay either it's the house or the home both ways <clears throat> so you might need to uh, strengthen your communication skills and uh, uh, start finding deeper connections with your siblings or with your neighbors because third house represents your neighbor so if you feel you don't have good contacts acquaintances you know try to make new friends you know reach out to your neighbors have good connections <clears throat> and uh, now because the fourth house is associated so you might need to uh, learn new skills okay so third lord transiting the fourth classic combination for gaining new skills and certifications because third house is your interview preparation and fourth house is knowledge so 
you need to learn how you can uh, be often uh, be be a good asset to your company also okay so <clears throat> so there could be some potential challenges which you might face in uh, short distance travels or with vehicles uh, or you know uh, in any kind of travels okay so sagittarius ascendance if you have any travels planned then or rather if you want to uh, book tickets for your travel trips then make sure you book tickets with uh, some gap in between okay so for example if you want to book a train then and there are two connecting trains then make sure they are there is at least half an hour one hour gap between them okay so this is where astrology can actually help you <coughs> and then uh, apart from this uh, there could be some uh, money which you might spend in improving your vehicles okay so that could also require some planning so keep some funds aside for it <clears throat> and at the end you need to understand that this transit is a merger of the second house and the fourth house the second house is your family and fourth house is your home so for you the most important thing that you should do is to strengthen your family and inner relationships okay there is no other thing that is more important there's nothing else for you for the next two years okay and <clears throat> because the second house is the house of your net worth and uh, therefore uh, you need to understand and you need to reevaluate and reassess you know what what is your value system you need to check yourself who were you 10 years back you know how are you now and uh, what could be your behavior uh, you know maybe after 5 years 10 years down the line do you have the same belief systems and at the end most important is to check your net worth okay so for example what kind of assets do you have you know do you own more uh, stocks or crypto or real estate and you know can you recalibrate your net worth and can you reassess your investments okay so if you already have some mutual funds you know in india or if you are in the us you know s p 500 index funds and all this <coughs> So you need to check which stock is performing how. Okay, so try to do some recalibration. Try to see what's the value of your home. Okay, so try to merge your net worth and your network and your uh, your belief systems. Okay, so try to see what interests you, what suits you better uh, as per your personality. And uh, improving communication skills is non-negotiable for you okay so Sagittarius be disciplined improve your communication uh, there could be some issues in short travels keep some money aside and uh, focus on building your home and your net worth okay wish you all the best Sagittarius now for Capricorn needless to say Saturn is your Lagna Lord, Lagna Lord. He's ruling your first house, your Lagna, directly your Lagnesh. And also the second house, which is the house of your net worth, right? <laughs> it's the house of personal resources uh, and your value systems. And he's transiting your second house and your third house. Okay, very, very, very important. <laughs> So for you Capricorn, this is a time to focus on financial discipline and saving and managing resources wisely. Why? Because the Lagnesh, which is you, your body, your mind, your efforts <coughs> is transiting in the second house of wealth. Okay. So it's like saying now you are going and focusing on your wealth. So try to see what is your financial situation. Try to see if you can get some new promotion. Try to see if you can get some new growth. Try to see if you can get some alternate source of income, you know, some side hustle or a new project. Okay. Or parallelly, if you could do some freelancing focus on saving your money okay so please 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 try to save your money do proper budgeting manage your resources properly very 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 crucial okay <clears throat> now you have to understand that because this planet that we are talking about is saturn it's not jupiter so 
there will be steady growth in your personal income or in your assets okay so for capricorn <coughs> Now, it's a good time to prepare for job and for job interviews especially why because a new job is seen from the second house and interviews are seen from the third house okay so an incredible combination for you to present yourself and then uh, there should be emphasis on clear responsible communication okay so clear-cut communication is very important because saturn is also the karaka for lies he is the significator of not speaking the truth so <clears throat> but the problem is if you do this if you speak lies or you are duplicitous then uh, because of this transit you will be caught okay so be brutally honest don't be insensitive don't be inhuman don't be uh, hurtful but you need to be truthful but truthful to whom truthful to yourself and also to others okay <clears throat> so be very responsible in your communication and uh, also exp also emphasize the other party to be truthful to you okay <clears throat> now for you there could be learning and sharing of knowledge that could be extremely beneficial so uh, if you are already having some good skills so lagnesh transiting in third you know why not open a youtube channel and speak about it okay <clears throat> very 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 important because uh, the more you share the more your knowledge will increase okay and then the more it will reward you okay so try to share your interests and your achievements you know uh, achievements not just you know your uh, name fame position don't just brag about it but if you have learned like for example you have learned ai significantly you know then try to share it and uh, try to tell all the milestones that somebody may experience when they are learning artificial intelligence machine learning and then try to benefit them in that way then of course because the second house is also involved along with the lagnesh so <coughs> It is a time for you to reassess your personal values, your self-worth and uh, do things which will strengthen your identity as a person. Okay, Because when the Lagnesh transits the second, this is the perfect time for you to reassess what do you think of yourself. You know, Do you respect yourself? What is your self-worth? Are you dependent on val validation from others or are you self-sufficient okay so that means for capricorn to summarize go into financial discipline try to learn new things try to give out things to others try to share information expect slow but steady growth do clear communication be brutally honest and also ask yourself how can i become a stronger person and how can i become in independent but at the same time interdependent with others also okay all the best capricorn so now we are with aquarius what's going on aquarius aquarius for you saturn just like capricorn is your lagna lord is your identity your body your appearance <coughs> and he also rules your 12th house which is your subconscious mind your hidden thoughts also your hidden enemies <laughs> and he's transiting in your first house and in your second house okay so therefore for you it is a significant period for self-reflection and personal restructuring okay there should be considerable efforts which are made towards your physical health and also your mental health okay 12th house can show your mental health <clears throat> so now the 12th lord is entering your first house as the first lord so it could mean that mental health is very important for you so prioritize your mental health and because your first lord will enter the second house so you could also prioritize your eating habits okay and also there should be a deeper understanding of finances because the second house is the house of finances and material security okay so if i try to combine these houses the first second and the twelfth this is 
uh, trying to re-establish your external securities in the outer world like you know for example trying to see what is your net worth what's your income what's your total assets but at the same time understanding that everything may not be in your control everything may not go as per your expectation okay and because of that uh, you may feel that uh, there are some insecurities within you which you have to uh, kind of uh, counter okay so that is why i said you know self reflection personal restructuring is extremely crucial okay and uh, because of this you might need to do some withdrawal or you might have to isolate yourself potentially okay uh, which could actually lead to a lot of spiritual growth and then uh, this means that there is a great time for you to redefine personal goals and your values or uh, so that you are true to yourself okay so for you this transit is a beautiful combination of internal and external things okay so for example externally you have to focus on your job and your health because the transit is happening in the house of your health and your net worth your job which is the second house and the first house so you have to understand that you have to focus on your body your thoughts your mindset and your job your work your money also but internally what should be your mindset internally your mindset should be that i will do something which is good for me in the long run okay not because uh, something will give me more money or uh, will give me some uh, name fame power position alone okay so this means that you have to do things because you like to do them not just because they have to be done of course there is a balance even if you find things which you like to do but within them also there will be things which you don't like and you might have to do them so for example you may like to make youtube videos but you may not like to make thumbnails okay uh, but so then in that case you may hire somebody to do the things that you don't like okay so in short for you you know it is very important that you do self reflection and uh, because the first house is associated along with the second in transit so there could be some name fame which you might get and there could be a lot of uh, additional benefits that you can get from your family okay but you have to understand that you have to prioritize your mental health along with uh, your physical wealth okay otherwise if your mental health is not proper you will suffer in the long run okay so try to look for security but also try to look for uh, security within the 12th house also shows spiritual pursuits so or uh, try to do more spiritual practices try to go to some um spiritual uh, community you know try to go go to some seclusion and uh, improve yourself okay so discover yourself try and become a better person this is perfect for you aquarius okay wish you all the best all right for pisces very 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 interesting 11th lord and 12th lord transiting your 12th and the first house now what is the 11th house 11th house is the house of hopes wishes fulfillment of desires happiness hmm? and also your friends network circles so that's how you can see in the photo uh, that you know there are a lot of colorful things around you and um, there's also you in the center meditating and if you like the photo then please hit the thumbs up okay so 12th house is also the house of solitude spirituality and saturn will first transit your 12th house then gradually he will move to your first house okay so for you the most the most it's like the ultimate of all important things is to focus on your spiritual life okay so you need to focus on spiritual growth and understand that you are not this body but you are spirit soul now for you it's very 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 interesting because the 12th house shows giving everything up um, not externally but mentally you leave it to the universe but 
this first house where the transit will happen later on is the house of doing things and not leaving things <coughs> okay so for you <coughs> it's a combination of trying to do everything yourself and also leaving certain things to the universe okay <coughs> so for you the best mantra is to do your best and leave the rest to god and because the 11th lord is transiting the 12th so there could be a possibility where you might release you know your old friendships outdated friendships now what, what, what do i mean by outdated friendships you know it does not mean your old friends but friendships which are no longer serving your best interests okay so maybe you are trying to become more spiritual and your friends so called friends in uh, or other you know uh, your enemy your enemies in the garb of friends or relatives or contacts or well wishers <laughs> you know they are trying to drag you to bad habits you know like drinking smoking or gambling or meat eating or watching pornography for example so <clears throat> then you need to uh, discard these communications from your life that don't align any more with your personal values okay now you don't have to discard people just like that but if you are moving in a new direction in life and they your friends or your relatives are trying their best to pull you down and to keep you where you are already then uh, you have to understand that it's time that you have to let go of them okay otherwise you will have to let go of yourself okay <laughs> and apart from this uh, it's again very bizarre that the 11th lord which shows your social life is transiting in your 12th house which is the house of seclusion so uh, there could be some challenges to find a balance between uh, being uh, in solitude and also being uh, in socialization okay so i would suggest the saturday you fire friday saturday you should spend on socializing and sunday you should spend on uh, finding yourself okay or the other way around so try to find yourself and also try to socialize and maintain your contacts okay and also insights into subconscious pattern can lead to healing and personal transformation so for you you have to understand to see away from the noise okay so during this transit there could be a lot of noise okay he's saying something she's saying something they are saying something parents spouse everybody is like taking you in 10 different directions but you need to understand that you have to actually make an effort to understand what is good for you and that you have to do yourself okay and if you need guidance you can always go to your guru or counselor or your family astrologer and understand that finally from the 12th your saturn is moving into your first house okay <clears throat> which means this is a preparation for a new phase of your identity and self presentation saturn shows things which you have to do yourself nobody does it for you okay <clears throat> so this is a phase where you will discover yourself and you will become a new pisces okay so essentially for you pisces focus on your spiritual growth understand solitude meditation let go of people who are not serving your best interests and who are stopping you stalling you, your growth and also find a balance between socializing and uh, solitude and try to see what is holding you down and prepare for the new identity okay wish you all the best pisces and thank you very much